Where COVID takes us next is anyone's guess. That's why studying variants is so crucial. How crucial? Well, we take you behind the scenes. So, Catherine, this reminds me of scenes from the movie Contagion. Is it very much like this? Absolutely. And so what are they doing right now? What, what happens in this lab? They're doing what's called a plaque assay, which is a process in which you try to determine exactly how much virus is in a sample. And where you see these little circles is an indication that one virus particle dropped down, killed the cell, and then killed the neighboring cells and the neighboring cells until it actually makes a noticeable hole or a plaque. And that indicates that there was a virus. Talk to me about the process. In the clinical virology lab, that's where they get the samples. Where do you come in or step in? In the situation where Dr. Pinsky says, hey, we've got a new variant, we pick up that sample and we let that cook for anywhere from three days to 10 days. So when that virus is fully grown, what do you do with it? It's important that we look not just at like the newest, latest variant, but at everything in between, because we might know something from our prior work that would help us prepare for that next variant. Let's say we identify a change in Omicron that allows it to escape from a certain type of immune response. If the next variant that comes up has that same change, we know that we should be worried about that particular aspect of that virus. How about in terms of treatment, though? Hopefully we could come up with more broad therapies that the virus couldn't escape from. If there are patterns of how it replicates better in a certain situation, maybe we can figure out a way to intervene and prevent that advantage that the variant has. It's infecting still a lot of people every day, which gives the virus this incredible opportunity to basically try every potential mutation, and the ones that work well are going to succeed. So if you study the viruses and how fast they replicate, but at the same time, that gives you extra information in terms of how to treat these viruses more effectively and more quickly. Absolutely.